What's going on everybody? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. We're going to start the video right about now. And if you guys like this type of content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to get notified wherever it is, somewhere, one of these corners. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get right into the video. I'm going to show you what I picked up today. I went to um, the one place that I've been getting all the action figures from. He's not really pulling any of those out anymore. He's kind of, last week he told me that he's got like thir like 100 boxes that they didn't even go through yet that they're just going to open and put out. And this week, it seemed like a lot of them were collectibles. It's not really up my alleyway, but um, um, I'm desperate right now for... Um, for inventory. I have some clubs. I want to clean them up. I just figured out that vinegar works really well to clean off those rusty clubs um, and the grass and everything like that. So I just kind of use a brush and a little bit of vinegar and um, it kind of cleans them up really nice. So there's 10 clubs and I got to clean all of them. I've only cleaned one so far and there's stickers on them, which are really hard to take stickers off of metal, off of stainless steel. So um, I'm going to be using a, um, I'm going to use a blow dryer to melt the glue so that I can just pull the stickers right off so they'll be really easy to um, take off. But anyway, we're going to get right into the video. I'm going to show you what I picked up. So everything's in a box over here. There's two boxes. We're going to go through the boxes. And so these I'm not really sure. I think they're like X-Men. So I don't know if these were like Burger King, whatever you want. It's $2 for both of them. So I took a chance on them. I didn't know that they were sealed. But um, this one is Wolverine versus the Blob. So I guess that they're just like, they're probably Burger King or McDonald's or something. I'm not really sure what these came out of. I think this one is Wolver this one is Cyclops and Commando. So they're just like, they're two figures fighting. And I think that these are Marvel. Yeah, I think Cyclops, Wolverine. I think that's Marvel. That's not, I don't think that that's DC. Yeah, because Wolverine is definitely Mar yeah, Marvel. There's the Marvel logo at the top. So I'm going to do a little bit more research on those, see what they're worth. For $2, you know, I said, you know, I'll just take them. And this was $1.25. This is a farm machine. It's This is a die cast. This is Ertl. I didn't even know it was Ertl. It is. It does have a bunch of glue on it. Yeah, I hate when, people, when they do that. I don't think that's going to come off very well. It's just going to rip. It's just going to take away the. So anyway, it's, there's more on the back. It's not. When it comes to that, it's not in very good condition. Yeah, there was another one that was that was stuck to it. So it is what it is. The car's still inside. It's still in perfect condition, but the box is just not too great. Now, he just put these stickers on, so they shouldn't be too hard to get off. Usually when stickers are just applied. Yeah, see, I got it. It's not going to be worth that much because it's the box is totally destroyed. So, you know, whatever. You got to think about stuff like that because it just takes away the value. All right, so I got all the Barbies for a dollar fifty. One of them is the uh, the hundredth anniversary, um, like NASCAR. I don't know if that's supposed to be. I thought one of them was like a Jeff Gordon or something. She's got a ring on her finger. I don't know. Is that the Barbie that's supposed to be? Oh, there she is. So whatever. Um, I know when she's when she's in the box, she's only worth like twenty five bucks. That one, that one's not worth that much. It's one I've passed on several times. So I don't know if these are worth anything. I may just get rid of them. Then see if they're if they're older or not. Um, Jerry. Hmm. Who's that one? See, that one might have some value too. I'll have to check her out. A lot of times, Barbies, you have to really look at them too. You have to make sure that they are. That they are authentic. Sometimes there's ones that are like copies. So definitely, I'm trying to get her necklace to go. She's like a little seashell necklace. This is a bad hair day, huh? Yeah, that's a bad hair day. So I just grabbed them because I didn't know if there's going to be any value there. Here's another one. Oh, she looks really weird. Wow. She has like one big eye. One small. It looks like somebody punched her in the eye, huh? Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with her. So, I don't know who that is. I don't know if that's supposed to be a country music singer. And then there was a bunch of clothing. Even Barbie clothes. If you guys find just the clothing, the clothing sometimes does better than the dolls. So, I think I dropped. Yeah. 
maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. So here's another one. Here's another farm machine with the same issue. I guess there was two of them. I'm just going to sell them together, probably. I don't know. Probably not a ton of value there. Maybe a little bit. And I went to one place... And all I got was Stitch. I guess that's Stitch. Is that Stitch? Oh, I'm Stitch. Yeah, I can do impressions, guys. I told you that. Um, anyway, so what do you think? I paid three bucks for it. I'm just going to give it to my son. He's going to give it to his girlfriend. So that can be our Christmas gift. It actually still has the tag on it, so it's new. So that can go home. Hmm. Well, there's a pair of somebody's shirt. Blouse, top, whatever. Alright, we did pick up some glass, which I'm not real crazy about getting glass all the time. So there was a box that had some shoes in it. This one is probably not a ton of value, probably just a planner or something like that. This one is the one that I was interested in. This one's cool, it's like a dress shoe, but I don't know what the brand is on that. I didn't really look, but I figured for, it was only a dollar or something. This is Royal, Royal something. That says Bavar. Oh, this is Bavaria too. I did pick another Bavaria piece up. It says Magret Magretna, Pennsylvania. So this was probably like something that you would get at like the gift shop. Not really sure. I don't know if that has any value to it. It was. I think it was a dollar for the box. So we got two of these. We got a Hallmark keepsake. We got Mickey's Sky Rider. I don't know if that one's worth anything, but it's definitely going to sell. That will definitely sell now because of Christmas. Um, then we have the Lassie one. I don't know. This is a Carlton Cards all set for Santa. So I don't know. It's just a, this is also something that's going to sell. They were only, they were a dollar and a quarter a piece. So, you know, not too bad. And I think that this was priced up more, but then he dropped it down to $2. So I figured for two bucks, um, I can definitely sell this now. I'm going to get these listed today. I'm going to take the photos and list them at home. Um, so for two bucks, I think I can do all right with that. So, you know, whatever. We'll see. There's another piece of glass. This was in with those two shoes. I think it was a dollar for the whole box. So, yeah. It was a dollar for everything. See the, the, the dollar on that. I just thought this was really cool. I forgot what this is called. It's really ornate on the inside. Um, if you guys don't... No, I'm not trying to be a, like a smart aleck or anything, but if you don't know what ornate means, ornate means like um, very detailed and just like, I'm, I think that's what it means. Yeah, sure. But um, yeah, it has some discoloration here. I don't know if that was, that's actually part of the process of the, of the item. So I don't know what this is made out of. I don't know if this is marble, but I thought it was cool. It's a cool little ashtray. Does it say anything? Let me see if it says anything. Here we go. Once again, I hate removing stickers. Like, it's such a pet peeve. Like, yeah, that one came off. But what is that? Is that like some kind of tiki or something? Or I can't really see that. It looks like some type of design. Yeah, it's just a design. There's nothing, nothing. I don't think it means anything, but it's a cool little ashtray. I figured I'd get a few bucks for it. Well, I'll take the paper off and probably reuse that. All right, and this was interesting also. I wasn't really sure. That's the Santa. Jeff Gordon. So two interesting items right here. This, I don't know what this is. It was $1.95. He just kind of puts prices on it. But it looks like you're supposed to put, like, maybe shells in that. Is that for, like, gun? Is that for, like, rifle shells or something? I don't know what this is for. But it was marked. So it had a mark on the bottom. I couldn't see it there. It was really small. It says, it says Park Sherman Company, Springfield, Illinois. Park Sherman Company. So I don't know. I'll have to research it. I'll have to check it out, see what it is. I probably should do that before I do the video so I can tell you guys exactly what I have. Um, yeah, I think I should do that from now on. I probably will. Sometimes I'll just do it while... I'm sitting right here. This was this was three dollars. This is a Kong Tin Royal Pewter. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's missing anything either. It looks like it might be missing missing something on it. But here's the box. I don't know what this is worth. Kong Tin Corpus. 
board stakes. I, I don't know. I have no idea. But I just thought it was interesting. You never know. This might actually be worth something. I know it's made out of pewter. It's not it's not one of the best metals. It's not like an expensive metal. But um, yeah, we'll see. So we'll put this stuff away. I'm going to list it as I go. Um, I have 25 items to ship. So I definitely have my work cut out for me today. We're going to put that back in there. Mm. I'm going to look the Barbie dolls up later. Got the Wolverine stuff. There's all the Barbie clothes. I'm going to have to put them in a separate bag. All right, so we're going to move this over here. We're going to slide the other box over and continue with what we got. All right, so I got this for my wife. She's really going to like it. I think I can just give it to her for Christmas. It was only $2.50. It's really pretty. I think that she could appreciate this. I'm hoping. Like I said, it was only... It's only two dollars and fifty cents, but it lights up, and it lights up purple too. Like the first color was purple. Look at all that purple. Yeah, she's gonna lose it. She's gonna absolutely lose it. I gotta get her a dresser though. We just moved into this house, and um, we're kind of working on getting like new furniture and stuff like that. I got my dresser. I need to get her one. This is really pretty. This is something that you just can't. It has to go somewhere where you can't knock it over because that will fall over one time and it'll break. The arm will break off. Something on it will break. And, you know, you don't want that to happen. All right, so I thought this was interesting as well. This is, what are these called? Marachi doll or something? I don't know. This is neat. This is cool. But, um... I think they're almost always twisted when I find them, so here we go. I guess we gotta kind of, I don't know, I don't know guys, I think that I'm using it wrong, I think that maybe, like that, this arm is, there we go. Hey, what's up? No, he goes. Uh, for five bucks, I figured he was worth it. Uh, I don't know what it's worth. I don't know if it's handmade. I don't know if it's made by someone. I have no idea, guys. But it's really cool. It looks like somebody just made it. But if they did that, that's really good. So, um, I guess we'll find out. We shall see, said the blind man. It doesn't... I can't get like where his it's really hard to yeah it's really hard to use I don't know how to use it so we're gonna put that away for right now or I'm gonna go insane because I don't know how to use it man that's hot 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 all right so got some newspaper I'll probably just use that I reuse all that stuff and this was brand new I wasn't sure where the pieces were it was only well, yeah, I actually paid up for this. I don't know why. I paid $4 for this. I really hope that this is worth it. I think that it's vintage. I'm not 100% positive. But um, I think that you just you pull that down and then the pieces are in there. So that is for when you play. I think this is, is this a pinochle or something. No. What is this? Cribbage. This is, this is a cribbage set. So I don't know what this is worth. I'm gonna um, hopefully I didn't waste my money on that because it's definitely not gonna ship first class. It's definitely over a pound, which sucks. But it is what it is. All right, so we have this 1933 Penn State manual. I thought this was really cool. I would give it to my daughter, but she probably won't really care. She uh, she is in Penn State right now, but I don't think that. I just don't know if she would appreciate it, you know, like someone else would buy this online and they would really, really appreciate it, or they might buy it for a gift to give to somebody that won't appreciate it, so you just, it's a hit or miss, I guess, I don't know, I think that this is a leather bound, this is really cool, 1933, guys, so that's almost antique, I think antique is 100 years, and I'm probably going to kick myself in the butt for buying this, but there was other puzzles and games, um, this is a dead spot that I go to, so there was no way to scan anything. I didn't know. I paid up on this, too. I paid $3 for this puzzle. 
Usually I like to get them at like yard sales when people are just trying to get rid of them. They sell them for a dollar. Um, but I just thought it was really cool. It does have the, um, what is that called, that design? Oh, wow, there's animals in there. That's really cool. There's actually animals inside of the design. There's a, there's a tiger or leopard or something right there. Um, there's another bird there. So that is pretty, I think this is called Mosaic, Mosaic or something like that. I think that's what that's called. But, you know, I hope it's called I can actually make something off of it. Um, there was, wasn't there, there was a container with watches and stuff in it. I think I, oh, I should have grabbed that. I don't think I did. Darn it. But this one is, all right, this was cool too. I thought that this was neat. I was just kind of trying to grab things. I wasn't sure if. Many of it was really valuable. Um, this one is the heart of... Oh, this is cool. So this is the heart of the ocean. Any one that... It was $2.50. Here we go with the stickers. Oh, my God. I'm telling you. I wish there was an easier way for him to put his stickers on stuff because I'll just use some goo going to get that off. But whatever. All right, so this is the heart of the ocean. It's a music box. I'm sure, I wonder if it's, does the heart will go on. Yep, it does. The heart will go on by Celine Dion. I don't know if that was somebody, any, somebody else sung that song. Not really sure. Premiere issue in the Titanic, heirloom porcelain music box, plays the melody of My Heart Will Go On, 1998, James Horner. And then it has a number on it, 1999, Andalyn edition, A7461. Don't know. I, I don't know if this is even worth anything. I guess we'll find out. A lot of the Titanic stuff does very well. Like, if it's the right item, like some of the movies and stuff, they don't really go too well. All right, so I grabbed this because I thought this was cool. We got the Pillsbury Doughboy Armatron Vintage Watch. Uh, I probably just need to put a battery in it. Um, this was $3. I spent a total of 60 bucks. So, you know, I don't know if I'm going to make my money back off of that. I hope I do. And here we have a Jim Shore. There was another one. I wasn't sure about this brand, so I didn't know. Um, if there was going to be any value with these items. So I grabbed this one, but there was another one. There was another Jim Shore one. This one is a cat. Okay, this one's a cat. And then there's another sticker that I got to peel off. I'm telling you guys, I can't win with these stickers. Because you got to... I'm just going to deal with it later. I'll deal with it later. It makes me angry because a lot of times you pull the stickers off, ruins the item. It does. It ruins the paper. It just, it just makes me heated. It makes me heated, bruh. All right, so this, I wasn't sure what it was, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grab it. I don't know what the heck they are. They're like little trinkets. They're called trinket. It's called a trinket box. Um, they are cool. They actually open up. This one actually has like lid. That's like a little treasure trinket. Um, there's no markings on these, but um, I'm pretty sure they have some value. And then there's these heavier ones that are marked. Ah, uh, is that no? These are Mo oh, these are Monet. Okay, I didn't even see that. I mean, I seen it, but it was so small I couldn't I couldn't see it with my eyes. I had to use a magnifying glass. So these are really cool. Oh, you know what this is? This is probably a lipstick case. This is a Monet lipstick case. There's one, then there's another one here. So they're just, just the same thing. And the glass is really, the glass is not too bad. It looks like I can actually clean that up. Yeah, okay. And then the other ones are just these little jewelry. I guess you could just put your ring in there, the little ring box. I guess this might be a set. I don't know if this is a set. I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know, it could be gold plated. I, I don't know what this, you know, I mean, they don't seem like they're made like super, super good, but there you go. We have the Monet. Um, I think they're lipstick cases, but they're metal lipstick case. They're really cool. So, all right, hopefully there's a little bit of value there. And then I think we have, there was something that had, um, I got this for my son. It is a, it's a butterfly. 
some of these glass butterflies go for good money. This is what he wanted. He wanted a he wanted a butterfly in a glass. Is that a real butterfly though? I think it's just yeah. You know what? I think it's just an image underneath of this thing. I think that's what that is. Is it in the glass? No, I guess it is a real. Maybe it is. I don't know. I saw it was really cool. It's just like a paperweight. He'll probably like it. So, you know, whatever. I know his mother is getting him one. Mama Dukes. But, um, I don't know. This is cool. Another sticker that I got. Thank God for Goo Gone. I'm telling you, man. It's, it's just terrible. I hate it. It, just, it, it drives me crazy when I have to pull stickers off of stuff. But, well, it is what it is. There's another one. There's a Tonka. Okay, this is the Tonka Little Chuck and Friends. This is actually a metal. This is the die cast collection. I don't know if these are worth anything. But I um, paid a dollar for it. And there we are with the sticker. Just pulled off. It was, I think that was already pulled off of there anyway. And last but not least, we're going to take off the sticker. I paid $20 for this. And I was like, you know what? Maybe it will be worth it. It's a silver elephant. It's real heavy. I don't know if this is... I don't think it's sterling. I don't think that this is made out of silver. I mean, there's a jewelry shop right down the street. I can take it to him and he'll tell me what it's made out of. So, um, I'm going to Google it. I'm going to hit it with Google, um, with Google Lens, and see if I can find the exact same elephant. Maybe I can. Maybe I won't. Like I said, I don't know. It is not marked. There's no markings on it. It says... Who made it or what it's made out of, which kind of sucks, but you know, here we are again. It is what it is. It's must have been handmade, and it just doesn't say doesn't say who it was made out of. But I thought it was really cool. I thought I'd take a chance on it for twenty dollars. Um, if worse come to worse, I could probably resell it, get my money back. Um, if it's not worth, you know, more, it's got to be. This has to be worth at least at least fifty dollars. I'm thinking because it's really big. It's a big size elephant. It's probably like what, like six, six inches high and like probably like maybe like ten wide. So it's definitely a decent size. Um, the guy told me um, interesting story. He said that don't buy elephants when they when the trunk is down because it's bad luck. Um, always buy your elephant with the trunk facing up. Never buy them when they're facing down. And a lot of times the tusks will be broken off. Um, if you see any that have like the ivory, the actual ivory from an elephant. Um, it's actually, I think it's illegal to buy that. It's crazy too, because look at their nose. It actually looks like a pig snout. Like, animals are amazing, dude. They're really cool. But anyway, I thought this was neat. I thought that maybe I could get a decent amount for it. As a matter of fact, I know I can. Um, I just don't know who it's made by. I don't know what it's made out of. I do need to, um, dig up and do a little bit more research. So, we'll definitely get on that. And I got things to do. I got 25 items to ship. And um, I do need to make some drafts because I don't have any. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked my video with my elephant trunk. Woo, I can't do the elephant that good. But anyway, that's it. Nothing left in the box. Elephant. All right, guys. So thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Peace. I'm out. I got to go.